The Milton Bradley board game has always had its share of twists and turns, but it never captured the immigrant experience until now. I want people to be a little bit more sympathetic to the immigration experience. Artist Isabel Garbani started working on Life Immigration Game during the 2016 presidential campaign when then-candidate Donald Trump made immigration a central focus of his platform. It's, it's everywhere. It's not just here. It's, you know, if you look at the news worldwide, you know, there's a resurgence of nationalism and xenophobia. Um, you know, and it's kind of worrisome to me to, to see that happening. Recently, the rhetoric hit even closer to home when an undocumented pizza delivery man was arrested and detained by ICE at Fort Hamilton Army Base, just a few blocks from her home in Bay Ridge. It is happening in our backyard now. This is not something that's like far away in Texas or Arizona. You know, this is actually ha happening in our neighborhood, and I think it's making people a little bit more aware of, you know, those things. Garbani drew on her own experience immigrating from France more than 30 years ago and interviewed more than 20 immigrants who shared their own stories for her project. Each of the scenarios you come across in her version of the game are based on real life experiences. Oh, I'm a 16 year old Guatemalan farmer. Arrested for religious beliefs, bribe guards for freedom. You have to go to the American embassy for your visa application. And the board is a mosaic of her family photos laid over the American flag with all of the flags of the United Nations. While some of the buildings from the original game have been replaced with symbols of immigration like the Statue of Liberty and tenement houses, the game ends with a modest house complete with a two-car garage and an above-ground pool, the quintessential American dream. The idea is to really humanize the experience and humanize immigrants. You know, we're, we're all the same. We all want basically the same thing in life. Right now you can play the game at Cafe Cafe in Bay Ridge, but Garbani hopes to make it available at cafes in other big cities throughout the country later this year. Reporting from Bay Ridge, Joe Masiri, Pix11 News.